<coughs> I ho, and we're back again. Right, so in this video, we are going to pretty much, I'm going to show you, similar to death, I'm going to show you how to gain the levels, and I'm going to show you what to do, and then, one, oh, so I'll kill, I'll kill something once and show you how it's done. And then I'll, show, I'll kill the Cursed Dragon, show you how it's done at this low level. And then after that, it's just going to be a case of just keep killing it, keep killing it until you're level 200. Right? So for those who don't know how to kill it or would like some advice, you throw down a rancid bait meat, get whatever repost you like up. Maybe get a nice cannon up. Oh, why not? A ruinous sigil too. And get this dickhead's attention. And if he goes in the air, shoot him down. Like that, go over to his chest, ruin his sigil. Go over to his side, oop. Oh, hello, he wanted to try and grab us. Well, if he tries to grab you, get out of the way. Same again. Go to his side, perfect block his arm attack, that'll get you in front of him. Let him try and grab you. And it's pretty much this process over and over until he's dead. Because he's a bit of an idiot. Oh shit. But he is powerful, so be wary of your surroundings and where you are. Because you can get stuck like me, and, and obviously I'm very lucky that he didn't hit me. And just beware... Even if you do it perfectly, sometimes this attack pattern will change slightly. That would hurt. Explosive fireball right on the heart. If he wretches... Well, that's not a wretch, that's obviously a knockdown. But if he if he does that, if he grabs his heart and stands on one leg, that's him reeling in pain. That indicates that he's near he's ready for a knockdown. So either hit him with a heavy attack or just put down another ruinous sigil while he's in the reeling animation. So that's a stagger animation. Burn, baby burn. No, my jump disappeared. Oh well. Don't need it. Mystic Knight doesn't look as cool without a repost on, do they? I don't know what animation that was, but there you go. Right, so that's him. He's about to go down. I'd be conservative with your sigils, otherwise you're just going to uh, obviously run out very quickly. Obviously when he's knocked down, go all out. Right, so here we grab onto his butt and hope for the best. Because this is a very powerful attack, and I have died to this countless times. And if you do... If you've killed as many cursed dragons as I have, you'll know just how annoying that one attack is. It's extremely infuriating, and that's part of the reason why I hate cursed dragons so much. So if you ever kill one, do me a favour, just kill it for me, would you? Oh shit. Ah. That was close. Let's try Abyssal Repost. I don't think it's going to do anything, but it has high knockdown. And I don't think knockdown effect... I don't think, uh... Elemental resistance affects secondary effects. What the hell was that? It's like it just sprayed. Uh, it's, just, it's just it's like the shield just sneezed. Is that really what it? What dark repulse does? It just sort of sneezes on the enemy and and hopefully it poisons and torpors them. Oh, 
Get comfy with his ass. Mmm, rot rotten dragon ass. Oh, yeah. Whoo! So there you go. That was pretty lucky. Makes a nice sound though. Yeah, it just sort of sneezes on the opponent, that's funny. Yeah, when he goes to grab you, you can just um You can just full moon it if you want. It's just not a very efficient way of doing it. You'll burn a lot of stamina that way. Oh, last time. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, run, 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 run. Hopefully it doesn't hit you. Hopefully it doesn't hit me. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, we are lucky. Right, so if you're really close to a wall, try and get the hell away from the wall. Because the splash damage will kill you. Boom. Try and grab me. Try and grab me. Can't get me. Can't get me. Hit it, hit it. Can't touch this. Oh, well, I'm going to be sued by MC Hammer now. Oh well. Down and out. Yes, obviously if I had Fire Enchanter and I could be bothered, I would be able to do a hell of a lot more damage with this Ruinous Sigil. Bang. Oh shit. Yeah, he will try and cl face you, so hopefully if you're near a wall, he won't hit the wall. So if he hits the wall, you're pretty buggered. It. it can hit you from quite a distance, and sometimes it will occasionally get me, despite how many hundreds of cursed dragons I've killed. Okay, we're about ready to kill this thing, so. Might as token on, so wheel. And at this point, show no mercy. There you go. That's how you're going to level up. So that's 61 to 62. Not massive, I know, but... that That's part of the problem with uh, fighter classes like this. I mean, if you really wanted to, you probably could do the old death method with... Um, if you get a decent staff and use Holy Focus Bolt, but... Yeah, do you really want to do that? I mean, I wouldn't, because it's... Because the Holy Focus Bolt one, the, when you do it with Holy Focus Bolt, there's more that can go wrong. So there is a chance that you'll get a couple of runs where you go all the way down there and something goes wrong and then you have to restart and you don't get a kill. However, if you want to do it, that'll only take, what, like two, three more kills of death until you're level 200. But I'm going to do this method because it's tried and true and I much prefer this method for one Cool. Well, for two main reasons. One, I hate cursed dragons, so killing them is bloody entertaining to me. And the second one is you end up with a crap ton of rift crystals at the end of it. And seeing how this is a this build is designed to play as all vocations, we're going to need a lot of rift crystals to get our weapons. So right now, you hopefully the rancid bait meat will still be going. If it's not, I'll show you something else. If not, I'll show you in the next video. Oh, wait, no, I need to go there anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to go there anyway. What am I talking about? Right. 
Roxy Ho. Pop down the Cassidus. Because we have completed the game, Fort of All is, is gone. I mean, you can save them if you want, it's up to you, but the vast majority of the time I don't bother. Because he's a dickhead. Anyway. Yeah, go to Cassidus. And in here, she will sell you Pilgrim's Charms. Which are expensive, but if you follow this guide, you know, relatively well, you should have plenty of cash at this point. So, yeah. Well, wait, we're level 62. Yeah, so, we're not going to need 38, we're going to need about half of that. So whatever it tells you, whatever level you are, however many levels you've got left to go, get that many Pilgrim's Charms, but half it, and maybe add three or four. Right, so, I would need 38. So what's that? We'll, we'll get like 20, maybe, we'll, we'll get about 22, right? Well, we'll start with 20 for the minute, just, just so we don't burn all our cash. But you, every, every like two or three levels, you will get an extra level. So, yeah. Right, that's that. Back to bit, bit of Black Isle. And I've got some grinding to do, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.